Okay, let's see what's behind the door. What the f Hello everyone, welcome to Bursting the Games. Today I'll move to a new neighborhood and start a new business. Let's roll. Oh, I'm given a friendly looking gentleman here. His outfit should also look friendly. How about this robe and this hat? I'll call him Grim Reaper. Does it sound too aggressive? How about Grim Rapper? That sounds more pleasant. Okay, this is my new home. How promising. Let's build the first floor and the second floor. It'll be a waste if I don't make use of the full size of the land. Look at this building. It totally makes sense architecturally. The entire huge second floor is supported by this little room at this corner. If the Leaning Tower of Pisa has been standing for centuries, I don't see why my house won't be. Let's get a door. That's right. We are LGBTQQIP2SAA and everyone else friendly. We need stairs to get to the second floor. This ladder looks safer than all other options. We need a light too. People, if you fall from the ladder, just don't break the light. On the second floor, we only need a corner for our essentials. A bunk bed, even if I live alone. The cheapest fridge, the cheapest cooker. This is something people can use inside their house, right? Yeah, why not? A public restroom. I have a bunk bed, even if I live alone. Then of course I can have a public restroom inside my house. A quaint bathtub. And everything else. A perfect design for a grown-up's house. We'll cover this corner for now, and leave this door here to tell people there's a public restroom inside. Let's go make some friends in the neighborhood. Yeah, this is the way you walk when you try to approach someone for a greeting. Hey sir, I'd like to make friends with you. I feel you are very special. Because you are the only person near me on the street. I'm not even walking directly towards you. Don't be creeped out. Oh yeah, that's how you should start a conversation. Plant yourself in the curb and stand behind the person you're talking to. And this guy is pretending he didn't even hear me. Okay, he's responding, but still showing his back to me. Good, he got closer. And our postures are totally natural. Okay, let's face each other normally, after having a little tango. How about a handshake? And these two ladies are like, yeah, we know him. He's gonna be fine, don't worry. And he likes it indeed. <laughs> then do you like this too, buddy? Oh yeah, he does. I'm gonna slap myself too, actually. But on my other hand, I think I made a pretty good first impression with my outfit, my walk, my handshake, and my slapping. You know why? Because there's a new guy trying to join our conversation. And he's thinking, yeah, I want those slaps too. No problem, buddy. Here's your turn. Why don't we come over here and talk in the middle of the street? And this lady is like, Uh, boys will be boys. Here it comes. The driver was not even trying to hit the brakes. I guess stopping a vehicle for people is just not mandatory in this city. Okay, let's go make more friends. Oh, you're the lady just now? See, I'm fine. I'm fine. Again, I'm fine. Yep, never forget to ask a girl for her number. Oh, hey, careful with your hand. Okay, okay, calm down, dude. Oh, free food? I love this neighborhood. Wait, this person is looking at the food too. Apparently, we both want it, but we are both shy to make the first move. Nobody else is looking at me, right? Alright, screw it. I have no willpower. Okay, lady, I only got a small portion. There's still enough for you. Or maybe she's not looking to eat it. She's conducting a social experiment and see if people will eat it. Alright, she's leaving, and no one else is around, right? Okay, I'm gonna have my big bite. Mmm. Let's go make more friends. Of course, in the middle of upcoming traffic. This time, keep your hands to yourself, dude. Okay, home sweet home. We met quite a lot of people. Now, let's celebrate with a good meal. I'm too lazy to cook. I'm gonna order something. Caprese salad? Cheese! I'm a simple man. I see cheese, I order a bunch. Is it too much cheese? What am I talking about? There's never such a thing as too much cheese. Oh, there's my food. Thank you, sir, for the delivery. I'm gonna give you five stars. Uh, am I wearing a cloak of invisibility? Where are you going? You just passed by me and almost knocked over my phone. Okay, first of all, I ordered 20 salads. They're all in this little bag? How small is each portion? Second of all, are you gonna leave it in my mailbox? Okay, leaving it on the street seems a better choice than the mailbox. 
and you want to rush back to your restaurant by rocket because you know you did a bad thing? Okay, dude, I'm not happy. Rude introduction. You deserve it. Oh, you're not even gonna look at me? Oh yeah, I will show you how you look since there's no mirror here. Okay, one star. Ah. Yep, one star. All right, I'm not happy as a customer. Follow me this way. Yep, climb upstairs. Dude, just don't fall or fart. Yep, told you, just one star. Okay, buddy, I'm not happy with your delivery. So, you are staying here. Let's see if I can make a pull inside. Oh, he just dodged it. Expand, expand. Where'd he go? Okay, found him. So, I'm forbidden to drown a person like that? Fine, I'll try something else. But hey, look at you. Apparently, you're still okay with being captured here. Maybe I don't have to drown you. I have another idea. An idea for a business. Alright, my business is open today. Let's have a celebration party. I'm gonna invite some friends I made the other day. Let's not be too formal. A costume party would help lighten the atmosphere. By the way, I ran a social experiment too. It turns out, nobody wants to steal my food. Okay, all my guests are upstairs now. Let's join them. Okay, get ready. Welcome to my humble up. Uh, oh yeah, I moved the public restroom to the entrance. This public restroom definitely says welcome to my humble abode, doesn't it? Pick a side according to your identity. If Nita describes you, told you we are friendly to everyone. So just come over here and pick any toilet. You can have a one-on-one -on -one chat or a small meeting. And there are even ones for kitties. Where are my guests? Oh, there you are. Hey guys, are you having fun? First, have some drinks, make your own. Food, cook your own. And a shower, yeah, on your own. And then I'll show you what's behind this door. Okay, now let me show you the secret. Ready? Ta-da! Welcome to my human zoo, where the first exhibit is not even a human being. This is the Grim Reaper, the real official Grim Reaper. If you wonder how I got the Grim Reaper here, I just needed someone to be the sacrifice. Ah, don't worry, he'll rest in peace knowing he's helping with my business. In this case, there's a food delivery guy and the pizza delivery lady. Technically, they are competitors. Oh, okay. That's okay, it's just part of nature. By the way, there was another social experiment. The pizza was left on the street, and this time around, people showed some attention to it, and eventually, this lady took a slice. Hey, how does it taste with added flavor of people's shoes? Yeah, she likes it. Here, we have our city heroes. One male and one female. Earlier in the party, our grill actually caught fire. So, I still didn't release them. That would have been a spoiler. I hadn't shown my guests what's behind the door yet. At least I have my principles. Okay, there's no toilet in there. They did their best. Let's not judge. See this guy. He's like, okay, let's pretend we didn't see it. And she's like, seriously? You're leaving both puddles to me? Okay, good. She can clean the floor. With a super expandable mop previously hidden on her body. For firefighting, obviously. Then she collapsed it and put it back in her pocket with her pee still on the mop head. I think she's saying, Hey dude, that puddle is yours. I don't want to get your pee in my pocket. These are two male maids. Okay, again, okay, let's not judge. Uh, okay, now we can judge. In this enclosure, we have two male nannies. They deserve to be here, because when this man came, he literally passed by all the previous rooms and he certainly saw what was going on. Apparently, he didn't take a hint. And the other guy did exactly the same, even if he saw his colleague already in this cage. Then they hugged each other, they're like, yeah, we are the same, we have the same job, and we both trapped ourselves here voluntarily. Nice to meet you here. With such intelligence, they shouldn't be allowed to look after other people's babies. You're welcome, my neighborhood, for saving your kids. And at last, we have a repairman and a repairwoman. I wasn't happy with their service, so I captured both of them. Actually, I would have caged them anyway. When I came over, I asked them, Oh yeah, this is where you should ask your visiting repair persons to sit, and you just sit next to them. It's absolutely not weird. I asked them how long it would take to fix my fridge. They told me from 1 to 3 hours. 
After they're trapped here, they asked me when I'll let them go. I told them from now to their death. I'm glad to see you guys are having fun in my zoo. Thank you so much for coming here. But hey, did any of you pay for the ticket? I wasn't even seeing anybody bringing a present. There's no free lunch, my friends. You guys are exhibits too now. But you won't all be here as a group. I'll assign you to different rooms. Guards, come in. Oh yeah, that's how this guard walks. Money well spent on him. Listen, my former friends who are now my slaves. Your costumes perfectly present the professions I couldn't capture earlier. Your job is to entertain people at the cost of your own dignity, so you should be fine in the cage. You want to be a unicorn? You definitely belong here. Remember my rainbow door? You are an aviator lady, aren't you? You know what happened to Amelia Earhart? You'll be the same. From today, you'll disappear from the public and stay here forever. You can set yourself on fire on any of these grills, Mr. Hot Dog. I'll borrow the line from a pioneer in your profession. This is one small step for me, one giant leap for the human zoo business. You guys by the window are giving a little preview to people outside. Now there are people gathering and talking here. I'm gonna invite them upstairs for a real tour. After they come up, they'll become permanent fixtures too. And of course they'll each represent a walk of life. Look at her happy tears! That's all for our tour today. Thank you so much for staying with me. If you had fun, please like and subscribe. Leave your comments below and let me know what game ideas you're interested in. And I'll try to make it happen for you. Oh, more people here. Do you guys want to be my next guests? Ha 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 ha.